today's class will be in designing columns of this structure this is three story building which we started from beginning from modeling uh, loading and analysis and we are at the designing stage we have designed the these labs the roof beam have been designed as well and the main beams also have been designed so today we'll be designing the column so if you look at uh, you see my right side right hand side you see the load primary load which we have applied to this structure this concrete building a three-story building actually a life project yes this primary load which I applied on this structure I used a, an, a, a template to calculate those uh, primary loads so this template is what I used yes uh, I'm, I'm happy from the with the feedback I got from from some of you so the feedback is very 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 okay I am happy to to know that you are enjoying the template the template has, uh, I'm happy to know that the template is saving you some stress this template is up for your grab it's just a, a token amount of money and um, which I'm in fact I'm even running a promo on it the price has been reduced by 50 percent and it's not going to be like that permanently of course you know I will definitely increase the price so the earlier you grab your own the better for you so this template is not only the primary load we also have load combinations, how to do your load combinations, or the dead load, life load, and wind load, how, how to combine them, the combination factors, and the rest of them for all the all the, all the loads. So, it's, it, once you make payment and uh, your payment is confirmed, everything is automated, you automatically have access to this template, editable template like this. So, that's what I use to model to um, load this structure we, we use that template to calculate the loads on, on this building on this building structure so that is what I actually use in my own designs I use that template for to do my, my work instead of uh, doing a calculation from scratch I just uh, open the template and impute the dimensions of my, my elements column and beams parapet them and automatically the load will be will be shown you will be calculated and i will simply come here and apply them so if you if if you find it useful or if you think you can use it of, of course every civil engineer needs this type of template what makes you a, a renowned civil engineer a, a wonderful civil, civil engineer is the number of templates you have in your in your in your in your, in your archive the number of templates you have that you have access to you know it makes your work easier and makes you um, um finish a particular work as fast as possible so but if you have if you have to go and start uh, developing calculations from scratch it will actually consume a lot of time so just click the link on the description you will see the link there to get the template and you pay the small amount that is being attached to it and you get the template so today we will be um, designing column so we simply rerun the analysis yes I have zero error zero warning then you click on the RCDC so here you fill in the requirements and yeah, the name of the project I'll, I'll, I'll call it uh, concrete building concrete building and client name Mr. ABC engineer's name engineer XYZ now select the code sorry zero code yeah then is column I want to design you have column and wall yes so I'll click click on create project 
and wait for it to come up if you are yet to subscribe to my channel i will beg you to take a second and do that immediately click on the subscribe button and on the bell button for notification so each time i i post a video you will be notified thank you as you do that so these are the my my these are my columns my column point and see the yeah, column one c2 c3 all, all of them are columns so from here i can change the the concrete strength to, to this the steel grid 410 410 410 and um, concrete cover mm, okay let's leave it at 50 that's good then uh, okay This one is column sizes 225 by 225 exactly as well as this as well as this this column one column two column three column four five it continues six seven yeah eight it's the last one then it continues like that this it actually captures all all the columns yeah okay so so i'll go to settings and parameter okay what am I changing here? You can say perform crack check. Yeah. Then this is supposed to be 0 0.3. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll click OK. Go back. Reinforcement settings. We have a longitudinal bar spacing minimum of bar spacing longitudinal. Okay, let me just leave it at default. Prepare bar spacing, we use 150. Okay. So, column rebar, we have minimum 12, maximum, let me make it 16. Share wall, minimum, maximum 12 okay we make it 16 12 16 and links we use 10 for my links i'll say okay link spacing so okay, can use 200 as minimum say okay I'll come back again okay basic load same thing This one is dead load, dead load, dead load, dead load, life load, wind X, wind X, wind Z, wind Z, then I will move to the other side, I click OK. Add from analysis, yeah. As for the design, then for my crack width, I also add from analysis. Then, but here we need to highlight the load combination for my crack check, which is serviceability load combination. That's good. Serviceability limit. Now say okay. Then we click on design. Okay. Let's see all of if all of them are going to pass. Okay. Everything 
is okay, everything passed. All the columns passed. You can see. You can see the um okay. You can see a column C from zero to three meter. This has the two two five by two two five. The material strength, the concrete strength is twenty five thirty. Um, steel is 410, capacity ratio is 0 0.1, which is less than 1, capacity ratio for flexure, axial, axial is 0 0.1, flexure is 0 0.3, you get to very, very okay, and the reinforcement is 4012, 4012, 4012, 4012, or 2, so it's very, very okay, so if you have a ratio here that is very close to 1, that means it's close to failure, but they are just 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.339. Yeah, I think that should be the highest for now. So uh, our, our, our column passed very well. Passed very, very well. Yeah. That's good. So this is for column design. Let us see the 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 drawing detail drawing let's display all the column yeah. okay this is the section of it The section of it very very plenty for all the columns for all the columns this for elevation Okay, see this is this one is the elevation that's the one we are used to exactly if we see to the first floor to so second floor to roof beam so this is it and this is a section of it so the software have already done the drawing for us just for us to to clean it up yeah to clean it up and uh, make it more presentable that's good so you can see this one is a a center column, edge column, center column, like that. Okay, we can generate the design a design summary. Design summary gives you the summary of the of the result, the reinforcement per each each level from one to two, from two to three, from three to four. The, yeah, this is just the design summary. You can as well open the detailed report, which is everything. But this detailed report is usually very plenty, a lot of pages. A lot of pages. See. That's good. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay. The crack wheat. This one is for crack wheat check. Very very is good. Okay, this for column design. We will stop here. Next time we we'll do foundation. We're going to do the normal part foundation with RCDC and also do um raft foundation with a uh, start pro foundation advanced so stay tuned subscribe to my channel share my content to to your friends and your colleagues in the office yeah thank you as you do that see you next time